Oh, and uh, something I failed to realize is that I can actually call my... I was going to say I can call my rattle trap, but apparently the old Republic facility counts as a town. I'll get, get on the speeder, dude. It's like right after I get out of instances, Crunch Bar does not want to get on a speeder. Come on, Crunch Bar. There we go. So, uh, apparently I have to get out of town in order to call my... Freaking everything prevented me from calling my rattle trap. Jeez. Come on, get out of combat. There we go. Yeah, as I was saying, I can call, actually call a rattle trap. This actually would have saved me a lot of time. Oh. Oh yeah, um, someone sat down at camp earlier to uh, to the Kubaza Beetle Cavern. I'm just going from one place to another on Mustafar. You don't need to show off the intro cinematic every single time. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, it's like I just, I just spawned in the middle of nowhere. So we need to go down to a guy called Ipo Ketora. I think he's down here. I think I skipped over him before saying that I couldn't do his quest because it involved group content. That, uh, that group content that I apparently just did solo. So I probably didn't need to get a group for that. But I met some, you know, cool people. Had another person on my friends list, so... You know, I suppose it was worth it. Hey, boy, Ketora. This is the first time you're meeting the audience, but second time you're meeting me. Crunchbar, you're back! How'd everything go? There wasn't much data left intact, but I got what I could. Let me have a look at that, please. Oh, this is very interesting. I wish there was more, but it's all that was left. That's all that was left, you say? Too bad, but at least this gives me some clues and shows I'm on the right track. I'm most grateful, my friend. Don't mention it. I'm glad to be of some help. It very much is. Now, for your reward, let's see. Where did I put that thing? You can keep this disc, by the way. I've already copied it down on my datapad. Ah, there it is. This helmet should be useful for someone in your line of work. What type of, type of armor would you like it to be modified for? Uh, I don't know, battle... battle armor? Certainly. Here we go, all yours. Very nice. It was a pleasure working with you, Epo. The pleasure was all mine, Crunchbar. If you find yourself looking for something else to do, come back and see me. I've got another lead I need, some help, I need help with, and we got this target enhancement helm. Looks kind of dumb, though. Yeah. What does this do? An effect name called targeting assistance. Alright, well, you know, let's see what that effect does at least. I'm not going to be using this. What does that do? Targeting assistance? Oh, you're just like the those crappy mesh gloves that I had. You only increase my uh my stats by twenty points each. Alright, well uh no, get rid of that. Re equip our other helmet. So you you have more work for us? Yeah, here we go. Great to see you again, Crunch Bar. I could use your assistance again if I if you have some time to spare. Why else would I be here? Your charming personality? Um... Anyway, while you were up retrieving the data log from that old bunker for me, I was out doing a bit of exploring of my own. To the northeast of us, but south of the bunker you ventured to, I came across some old buildings of unknown origin. Among them I found this, a piece of an old tablet with some writing on it. Unfortunately, it's been shattered, and this is but a small piece of the puzzle, so to speak. Didn't occur to you to look for the other pieces while you were there. Indeed it did, but as I was looking around, I noticed I was no longer alone. 
I spotted some skulking figures moving around the area, also apparently searching for something. I didn't like the way they looked and sneaked off before they could spot me. It's my hope that you could return here and see if you can find the other pieces of tablet. Probably some filthy scavengers. I'll handle them. I'm sure you will. Don't forget about the tablet pieces, though. If the rest are about the same size as this one, my guess is there will be four more of them. Okay, I'll get them, don't worry. You haven't disappointed me so far, Crunchbar. I'm not worried. Still, good luck out there. Alright, so, uh, where's the one to go? Somewhere around an old camp northeast of the new mining facility. Northeast. Northeast would be this way. Does it want us to go here? I'm not sure. Uh, one moment, guys. I think I'll just I'll just look this up. All right, I'm back, and it looks like I was right. It actually, is over in the uh, the Jedi ruins. So I guess I'll meet you over there. Hey, look, lava falls. Ah, oh, my flesh is melting! Bah ha ha! Well, not really. I can safely travel underneath the waterfalls. The lava falls, sorry. And bypass this enormous stream that I normally could not bypass. It's silly, but you know, anything to save time. Alright. Yep. Again, I'll, I'll meet you there. Alright, we're closing in on a bunch of waypoints. I just like being in the distance and seeing all these, like, all these, like, shrines of light. Just glowing rays of light just beaming up into the sky. So one of the uh, tablets we need, we can find an entrance here. That'd be lovely. Okay, here we go. Hop off our speeder. Um... Try to go right between you guys. We have to kill this scarf. Can we talk to this guy? Hey, dude. Inferior fool, you disturb death incarnate. Prepare to pay the price. Okay, apparently, uh, talking to this car really pisses him off. Oh, that was a woman. I did not realize. Unfortunately, attacking Scar pissed off all these minions. Well, all the Stormlord minions, that is. Help us, Medic. Medic, help me. I need heals. Thank you. Can't beat me. I'm crunch bar. There we go. Let's take a good look at this person. That was a good Zabrik with a bunch of tattoos on her face. We find one of the tablets, pieces for Epo. Yay. What do you have? You have money. Okay. Well that was one. We can get rid of that now. Now we need to go over there. Those three waypoints. Uh, trained Blissmock. These guys actually train raptors? It's pretty kick ass. So let's go over here. I think this is the one where. Yeah, we probably have to kill some scavengers. Your Stormlord minions. Stop being in the way. Alright, scavengers. Hey, scavenger. Do you have a tablet for us? That'd be just swell if you did. Nope. What about you? Hey, 
Hey, in Scavenger's backpack, you find one of the tablet pieces. Cool. I think I'll go this. No, I'll go this way. Go up there. What do we have to click on? A pile of rocks. We find another tablet piece among the rubble. Color speeder once again. You go collect that final. Where is it? It's over there. Go collect that final tablet. You mean Epo was like searching around this place and only just found, only just saw like a couple of shadows just creeping around? That seems unlikely. Like, these guys are kind of everywhere. They're protecting something. Don't mind me, Jen, so I'm just coming in here and, uh. Oh. I'm protecting the zealot. Out of my way, zealot. You can stop with the moves, Crunch Bar. He's dead. Among the remains, you find another tablet piece. Take your money. Can I actually call my uh, my rattle trap here? Let's find a bit of level ground. There we go. Time to go back to the mining facility. Looks like the camp disappeared. Do 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 Okay. Oh, hi, Aelin. A lot of all of the uh a lot of the elder people you see like where these night sister uh bicep armor. It's actually like an extremely rare armor piece. It's only it was only obtainable like before the NGE, and even then it was, it was extremely rare. It doesn't get it doesn't do anything. It just you know it's just for looks. Okay. This quest we should probably be uh, just about done with all the prerequ prerequisite stuff for. Sorry, these, these waypoints are were confusing me. thought I had to go somewhere else. Let me just get rid of, rid of all these waypoints quick. There we go. Hey, Yupo. Got those tablets for you. Wasn't nearly as dangerous as the old public facility. Crunch power. Please tell me you've had some luck. I've had nothing but mis misfortune lately. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, I care. Here's your tablets. Where's my reward? Your tough attitude really doesn't suit you, Crunch Bar. I know you better than that. I don't. I talked to you like three times. Jeez, asshole. Let me have a look at these. Ah, yes, beautiful. They fit together perfectly. Let me get you a copy of the translated text. Give me a minute. That better not be my only reward. Of course not, silly. I've come across a stash of weapons, and just let me know what you would prefer. A rifle, a carbine, or a pistol? Um, I'm not going to use any of them. Give me a pistol, sure. Not a problem. Here you go. I haven't gotten anywhere without you, and I'm most grateful. You can say that again. So I guess our business is concluded? Yes, indeed. For now, at least. Take care of yourself, Crunch Bar. Thanks again. Okay. Got a Coinite Disruptor Pistol. That's cool, I guess. Oh boy, this pistol executes the free spike effect. That thing that doesn't do anything. 
Alright, so I think we completed all of the, uh, all of the prerequisite requisite stuff for what we want to show up. Um, I don't know. Actually, give me a, give me a moment. I'm going to go check. Alright, well, it says that a short while after completing all the quests that Obi-Wan should show up. But so far, he hasn't shown up. Luckily, it says that if you, uh, if that's the case, you can actually go to this place over here and click on something. And if you've done all the prerequisite quests, you should show up. So I'm going to go do that. I think I actually know where that is. I think that's, uh, no, actually, up here is where, where the shield deflector, where Obi-Wan and Anakin went to. Oh, hi. Hi, Obi-Wan. You're kind of floating. That's odd. So it was just because we were inside of the facility that he didn't talk to us. Hey, Obi-Wan. I am in dire need of your assistance, Crunchbar. I've been watching you for... Oh, there it goes. I've been watching you for some time, hoping you would be the one I could trust with this difficult task. What? Who are you? Who I am is not of any importance. What I need help with, on the other hand, may affect the future of the entire galaxy. Then, what may I call you? What would I call you? You can call me Ben. Now let me continue, please. Of course. My apologies. I'm not sure how much of this planet's history you have uncovered, but I'll tell you what I know. Thousands of years ago, long before my time, there was a large chapter of Jedi Knights located here. The planet was a center of Jedi information and artifacts, which attracted the vicious Sith. Who are the Sith? Who are the Sith, Herbert? The Sith were an ancient race that, for lack of a better term, were pure evil. The leaders were great wielders of the Force, but they didn't wield it for great things. They became a danger to the rest of the galaxy, when their powers corrupted Jedi that came to their planet. I understand. The Jedi on Mustafar uncovered a magnificent crystal of unknown origin. It was as tall as a tower, and the Jedi quickly discovered that it was attuned to the Force within them. When news of an impending Sith invasion reached them, they desperately began to experiment with the crystal, hoping to find a way to use it in their defense. I'm assuming things didn't go according to plans. You are correct, my friend. The Jedi believed they could channel their powers to the crystal and dampen the Sith's powers while strengthening their own. As the Sith, as the Sith warships pierced the atmosphere, the Jedi Masters began channeling the Force through the crystal, while the younger Jedi led the troops in battle. What happened? At first, it wor worked perfectly. The Sith could barely use their powers at all, while the young Jedi in the field could wield more power than ever. But they hadn't had time to do enough research on the crystal and its limits. And as the battle went on, they began to crack. Close to victory, the Jedi could have stopped using it, and would have still won the battle. Why didn't they? Why didn't they? Jedi are quite wise from what I know. But they have their flaws like everyone else. Some believe that the Sith Lord, facing certain defeat, somehow corrupted the vulnerable Jedi Masters as they were channeling. The result was catastrophic. When the crystal exploded, it sent the planet itself out of its orbit and wiped out all the Sith and the Jedi. All but one, that is. Who could possibly have survived that? So the crystal exploded, and the planet just, like, veered off course, like, violently. Wow. They couldn't have been unfortunate enough that the Sith Lord survived. No, thankfully they weren't. All records point to the Sith Lord being vanquished. Phew, <laughs> good. So who did survive? The Elder of the Masters, Er Crow. As the crystal exploded, he managed to shield himself from some of the destruction. Clinging onto life, he found a large shard of the crystal in front of the dead masters. Amazing. What did he do? 
Sensing that this large shard still had tremendous power, he dragged it with him into hiding. He then spent his remaining energy using the Force to put a protective shield around it, to make sure that no other Force wielder could sense its presence. Unfortunately, Crow, dying from his injuries, wasn't as strong as he had once been, and the power of his shield has diminished over se after several thousand years. Then it is now unprotected and it's possible to find it. I already have, but the forces of evil are swiftly closing in to claim it. You have seen some of them yourself. That is why we must act quickly, Crunchbar. We can't let it fall into their hands. Most definitely not. So why haven't you taken it? Well, because you're a ghost, duh. In my state, I can't. Yeah, you're a ghost. Which is why I need you. I wish it were as easy as us just going there right now and getting it. But there are some problems. Even though the shielding is all but gone, Crow made sure that it wouldn't be easy to gain access. He made the entrance only passable by someone with great force powers. And so you, since you don't have that, we have to cheat. Yeah, I'm not a Jedi. Sorry. Cheat how? There's a shard of the crystal that it has an unusually active soul of a Jedi trapped inside it. I'm fairly certain that we can use that shard as a key to gain a entrance to Crow's chamber. A soul trapped inside? That's horrible. I agree. But that's a problem that we'll have to wait. Understood. So do where do we take the shard if we get it? Nowhere. We will destroy it, which is what Crow would have done in the first place. I think that some of the Sith's taint had touched him, and that's why he couldn't. The crystal is much too powerful to be entrusted to anyone. No one is immune to the corruption of the dark side. Trust me. I agree. So where do we find the key? That is the tricky part. It's currently in possession of a crazed Mustafarian. I'm not sure what's driven him to, to insanity, but he's become a hermit, wandering the scorched lands erratically, making him hard to track, even for me. You need to find him. That will be difficult. It could be anywhere. Yes, but I've thought of something that might help. Mustafari and survey droids scour the planet constantly, trying to find new resources. If you can gain access to their computer network, you might be able to find an approximate location to where the hermit was, was spotted last. Will the Mustafarians assist me? That is unlikely. They are mostly interested in profit, and would probably shrug you off as a lunatic if you tried to explain to them. You we'll have to find another way. I'm afraid I have urgent matters to take care of, but I will see you again, Crunchbar. Please be swift in solving this. We are rapidly running out of time. If you need my assistance... He's just stretching. <laughs> would a ghost need to stretch? Honestly. We are rapidly running out of time. If you need my assistance, go to the northeastern shoreline between the old and new mining facilities. I will try to answer your call. I'll do my best. You be careful. Why would he need to be careful? He's a ghost. Oh, this old man will be fine. You must. You just worry about yourself, my friend. May the force be with you, Crunchbar. May the force be with you, Ethereal Spirit. Ben. So, I need to. That's wrong. Wrong quest. You find a way to access the Mustafarian droid mainframe and hope that one of their droids was spotted the hermit traveling the lands recently. Okay, we'll just, you know, leave Ben here. And, uh. I don't know. We'll go around the facility looking for a certain terminal that we can use. No. Not this one. Nope. What happened to be that terminal that I kept on passing by in the storage room? Computer terminal. Huh. I'm 
not entirely sure. The flame beetle. Oh, it's for a, for a collection. Yeah, it's that beetle collection that I started on uh, on Deathmere. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna see what I'm supposed to do. Alright, looks like I need to find a computer technician. I think he's uh, upstairs. Maybe he's in. No, he's right here. Computer technician, how you doing? What are you doing here? I have a favor to ask. I'm really busy here, so make it quick. I'm looking for someone out in the lava fields, and. You're hoping that one of our droids has spotted them. That's very possible, but I can't spend my days trying to find people lost out there. I have a real job to do. Maybe I can use one of the computers for a minute? That is highly unusual, and the rental fee on these computers is quite steep. How steep? I believe the going rate is 500 credits. Talk about steep. Well, here you go. Pleasure doing business, you, business with you. Use that one over there. Now hurry up so I can get back to work. And now we can use the computer terminal. There we go. I'm putting mainframe search command. Function started. I just gotta, gotta wait for a few seconds. There we go. Search complete. Uh, no, that's not it. I don't need that anymore. Now where do we go? Oh. I need to check the results. There we go. Target acquired. Where's the target? Oh. Cool. That's known location of the Hermit. Alright, I'll go ahead and meet you there. It looks like we're just about there. We'll climb over this uh, little miniature volcano. It's probably not going to be right on the waypoint. And this was just the uh, where he was last seen. Search nearby area. Maybe he hasn't made it too far. Okay. Alright, minor, where you at? Oh, permit. There's the mining marker. That's cool. Those are a bliss mock. It's a Kubasa beetle. Those creatures are just spawning in because I'm just, you know, chilling out here. All of a sudden, you're a bone chilling whale, and two fierce looking bliss mocks come charting at you. God. Where are they? Okay, there you are. Quick, kill the Blissmock. Success. Give me success. Whoops, no, wrong button. Spot the hermit. Try to convince him to give you give you the crystal shard. Um where's the hermit? Okay, where the hell is the hermit? I don't know where the hermit is. I don't know where you are. All I know is I was attacked by some random raptors. Um. Okay, um, one moment, guys. Alright, 
Um, says that the crazed hermit is at. Over here. Oh, there he is. Okay, I couldn't find you before. Hey, hermit. Did you hurt those beautiful animals? I was forced to. They were trying to kill me. Exactly what I said as the gem was screaming at me. You don't say. There's a gem. Can I see it? Gem? They're everywhere, up, down, wherever they please. I can't stand them anymore, always blabbing. Never quiet, I have to get away. No, go where it's quiet. Not making any sense, friend. Please calm down. Do you think that it's easy? Carrying the curse? Oh, the noises. They won't stop. What can I do? How can I help you? Help me. Help me! You're the one needs to help! Oh god, we're being attacked by everything. Sorry, I was just trying to uh, try, trying to concentrate and not die. All right, hermit, calling all those bliss mocks on me, asshole. No more fun left. They're quiet now. Finally, quiet. Please, I implore you, give me the crystal. It's hurting you. Shh. I'm tired. Tired of it all. Please, no more. I can't take any more of this. I can help you. Just let me hold the gem for a second. Yes, it might be it. But no, I can't. He won't let me. He's mine, and I'm his. You don't need him anymore. We can be truly free. But we'll keep the sounds away. They hurt so much, and they keep coming back. I can't do this by myself. I promise they will go away when you give them the gem. You promise? Everyone keeps promising me, but no one tells the truth. Maybe this one is different, though. Maybe he's right. No. No! He's not right. He's trying to hurt you. Only I can make the sounds go away. You must kill him. Kill him now! Okay. So we killed the crazy pants head man. That's unfortunate. Go and take that lava rock. Why not? Crunch bar. The forces of evil are closing in. You are only hope. How many times he said that three times? Oh god, there's three Obi-Wans. Um. Okay, that's odd. I'll talk to one of the Obi-Wans. Good, you have the key. We are ready to proceed, Crunchbar. Good, this thing is strange. I don't like it at all. Yes, the Jedi trapped within it clearly is in great pain. I'm just like twitching. And he must have been what drove the poor Mustafarian insane. I'll try to come up with a way to free help free him later, but right now we have more impressing matters. I wish you hadn't killed the Mustafarian, though. He was as much a victim as the Jedi in the crystal, and if he had been a spare, he could have been a help in saving the Jedi. I was trying to avoid it, but I couldn't save him. I understand. Sometimes violence is the only outcome, my friend. At least you did your best. Let's focus on the task at hand. Yes, I'd like to get rid of this crystal sooner rather than later. Yes, time is against us, in more ways than one. A great evil has arrived, and it's quickly marking its making its way over to the chamber. Not only that, but your actions have drawn the attention of its minions, and I fear they are closing in on you as we speak. I will. I'll be as fast as I can. What do we do next? It's dangerous, but we need to... Stop twitching, Crunchbar. But we need to forge a stronger bond between you and the crystal. That would probably happen over time if we kept it, but we can't wait. On this planet, there are three old enclaves, remains of the Jedi temples. At each of these, there is a conduit that was used to link the enclaves together. I'm not sure if I like this. I know, my friend, but we have no choice. You have to go to each of these three conduits, wedge the crystal into it, 
and wait until the power channels through it. The first enclave is located in the northwest corner of the continent. The second is just west of the central volcano, and the final one is straight east of the same volcano, all the way on the edge of the continent. Very well. I'll be on my way immediately. Be very careful, my friend. These are dangerous times indeed. May the force be with you, Crunchbar. May the force be with you, Ben. It looks like your your triplets disappeared as well. <laughs> That's fortunate. Alright, so we can get rid of that waypoint. And I know what it's talking about. He's talking about the uh the big big circles here. Those are the Jedi ruins. Let's see, he said Let's see. Northwest corner of the continent. Yeah, northwest and then west of the volcano and then to the east volcano. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing the the big schloop. And I'll I guess I'll meet you when I get to the first the first thing that he wants me to go to. See you there. Alright, so we're nearing one of the uh get off the rocks. We're nearing one of the things that we're supposed to interact with. Here it is. It is a shatter conduit. Let's go ahead and wedge the crystal in here. Okay, um... Is that it? Is something supposed to happen? I'm not sure. Maybe it'll happen, like, one mile away to the next, uh, to the next waypoint. But yeah, I guess I'll, I guess I'll meet you up here. Oh god, suddenly I'm being attacked. Oh, by a Brotherhood Mortalis mercenary. This doesn't sound, uh, something they have been moved for, so I'm assuming it's from the... He's using force powers. So I'm assuming it's related to that conduit that we used. Timer is 10 seconds left. What does that mean? Um, I'm just gonna ignore it. Wait, task completed waiting? What does that mean? I'm on the wrong quest. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. My bad. Apparently I was supposed to wait around the conduit for, uh... Supposed to wait around the conduit and wait for the crystal to charge. So I pretty much just left my crystal back in the, uh, the conduit there. My bad. I got that orange lightning again. I guess it's not, like, specific to any, like, single area. Hopefully someone didn't come by and take my crystal. I doubt the quest works like that, but, you know, whatever. Let's go over this lava flow. Quick, we have to get our crystal back. Let's see. There we go. Now we have our crystal back. Okay. Now we can, uh... Now we can go up to the waypoint up here. I was not aware that you had to wait there for a while. But now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Alright, I guess I'll meet you up there now. Alright, so we're coming up on the next conduit. It looks like it's in the, this little... little chapelish area. Little gazebo. Let's go ahead and just drive up this mountain. It looks like this place is guarded by a whole bunch of people. That's unfortunate. Excuse me, gents. Don't mind me, I'm just uh, here for the conduit. The conduit's Mass Effect. 
Oh, no, not really. Damn it. Everyone's attacking me. No. Oh, we were we were incapacitated by Commander Hal Razor. Alright, uh, as soon as we get up, we'll have to go take refuge somewhere. Run. Unfortunately, a lot of our buffs ran out. We still have our entertainer buff, so that's that's cool. So while we're waiting, I guess. Uh, no, I'll ask this. Uh, I'll ask this question later. All right, let's uh, let's go back up. Hopefully, we'll do better this time than we did earlier. I wish I'd kill you. You're going getting on my nerves. Help me, medic. I keep on forgetting to get these field stim packs. You know, I have them for a reason. Hi, right, Razor. Of the Howl variety. Go ahead and use another stick pack. I'm actually a lot more effective now that I have uh, essentially two heals. Let's uh, just try to ignore this lag. It's not like uh, it's frame rate. Peter's doing something in the background and I really don't appreciate it. Alright, with this guy dead. Yeah, once we kill him. Now we can finally wedge this crystal in with conduit. Maybe data processor? Whatever. What are you, how Razor? What do you have? We have a crystal fragment. That's cool, I guess. So, yeah, question time. Uh. If it was only like several thousand years ago that this catastrophic event happened to Mustafar and killed like everything on the planet, except for the one dude, how are there Mustafarians? How is there any life on this planet for that matter? Oh, they're being attacked by something. Um, okay, there we are. Like, how are there Mustafarians here? But it doesn't make sense. You know, they, they didn't they wouldn't have time to naturally evolve on this planet. Would they just come from another planet? And there's like I don't know, they just stop existing from wherever they came from? I have no idea. But for some reason there's like a native species here. Two native species, two sentient species. On Mustafar called Mustafarians. When there should not be. No idea. But, you know, whatever. And it's it's not even like uh it's not even like like in Knights of the Republic, it's not like in those games where the the planets had like direct intervention intervention from like a superior species like the Rakata. So, in like a, the span of several thousand years, not one, but two native species, uh, with the Mustafarian change, whatever. Not just one, but two sentient species evolved in several thousand years that Mustafar was turned into Mustafar. So, not sure what to say about that. Without the assistance of, like, an evolutionary stimulant. So, yeah. Wrap your head around that one. I don't know, maybe, maybe it says something on, like, the, the Star Wars wiki? I don't know. I'm not gonna bother to look it up. You can if you want to. In the meantime, we're almost done waiting. And waiting. 
and waiting. Ten seconds left, and waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and waiting. Oh, here we're done. Don't forget the crystal. There we go. Now all that's left is the East Enclave, which is all the way hell over here. On the other side of the planet. Alright, I'll just meet you there. Alright, we are nearing the next conduit. The final conduit, I should say. I'm going to attract someone's attention. Let's go ahead and uh, keep on driving past the conduit. There we go. Let's see. Let's sneak up on behind here. Okay, we have to go around, I guess. Skirt around these fellows. Excuse me. It's Stormlord over there. We'll just leave him to his business. Look at these guys. Oh. Why aren't you a handsome gentleman? Where did they get the their clothes? Where did they get, like, this little skirt and the sandals? I don't know. Anyways. Wedge the crystal into the conduit. Luckily this time, there's no, you know, people guarding the conduit. Luckily this time, we only have to wait one and a half minutes. Go, it's attacking me. Something's attacking me. Hi. I can't see you. I guess this guy's just gonna, like, be on the other side of the wall forever and ever. He's like, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. But no, you are not going to get me. I really can't see you through here, can I? Even though you're right there. Whatever. Can I just go over here? You really are incapable of doing anything, aren't you? Oh well. Hopefully I can just like extract the crystal while still in combat, that'd be, that'd be swell. As this incompetent mercenary just stands there. Oh, hi. You finally had the sense to come through and attack me. Where are you? You're a very ugly Trandoshan. Okay, apparently someone else is attacking me. Go ahead and take the crystal. There we go. Um, I can't talk to you, Ben. There's someone attacking me. Okay, there we go. Now let's go talk to Ben. Hey, Ben. Everything is set, Crunchbar. Now you need to make it to the hidden chamber, quickly. Okay, where is it? North of the central volcano. Quit twitching, Crunch Bar. Weird me out. North of the central volcano is what's called the Burning Plains. In the northeast corner of the plains, you will find the entrance to the chamber. I can't come with you. I will meet you there. The minions of the dark are closing in on are closing in on you. I'll have to try and throw them off track. Don't worry. I won't let them get the crystal. I hope you are right. May the force be with you, Crunch Bar. You will need it. May the force be with you, Ben. Alright, a journey against time. What was I trying to say? The spirit has explained where the chamber entrance that the has explained where the chamber entrance is. North of the center volcano. That's what's called the Burning Plains. Northeast corner, yeah, 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 yeah. It's up here. Go, it's attacking me. Freaking stormboard guys, go away. God, everyone's attacking me. 
Okay, we can take them. We have stems. Oh god, they just like grenaded me. Um. Okay. Well, damn. I got killed by the Stormlord minions. All right. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just respawn at the facility, and I'll meet you up here in the burning plains. All right. We can. Uh, see the ruins off there in the distance. I went to Tatooine and got some medic buffs, just for the hell of it. I probably won't need them. Uh, you'll see why that is in a moment. But I just got them, uh, just because. Why not? Well, it was a journey against time, so I probably wasted, wasted more time than I should have. But the quest doesn't know that, don't tell it. Scoot on by all these. Oh. Yeah, I said scoot on by all these crazy people. Let's see. Okay, find the entrance to the chamber. Where's the entrance to the chamber? Is it over there? That's just a, that's a treasure hunter. Is it over here, maybe? Where's the entrance to this to this chamber? I'm gonna try and skirt around most of these people. I think it is over here. Leave me alone, geez. Just trying to save the galaxy. Yep, here it is. Alright, excuse me, Ben. I have to go take care of something. Hi, oh, Treasure Hunter. Jeez. Hey Ben, what do you guys say? Finally, our quest is almost complete, Crunch Bar. I'm glad to see you made it, Crunch Bar. Let me explain how to do this. What's happened to you? What happened to you slowing down these guys? Yeah, I was attacked several times by a bunch of mercs. So, uh... There's too many of them. They are closing in too fast. We, ha we have to get inside now. Fine, how do I get inside? Shut up. Did you hear that? It's the crystal. It's playing tricks with your mind. Wedge it into one of the cracks on the pillar. Then place your hands on it and focus on transferring yourself inside. This better work. I believe it will, Crunchbar. Now hurry. What do I gotta do? Okay, destroy the tainted crystal inside the chamber. Let's go inside. the instance to load in. There we go. Hey, looks, this looks familiar. This kind of looks like uh, a gamma station a little bit. Let's go inside. There it is. A mysterious and powerful crystal. Should something be happening? Okay. This crunch bar is what we have worked so hard to reach. Although it looks harmless, it is very powerful. Unfortunately, it is consumed by the dark side of the force, but we must destroy it. Oh god, who's this? Lord Valtonis? Oh my. 
<laughs> Crunch bar. Step away from the crystal, it's mine. He howls malevolently. Are you gonna say something back then? Um, you bore me, Crunch Bar. Brothers of Mortalis, remove this nuisance and earn your pay. We can take you, stupid mercenary. Is that it? One mercenary? Is that what you're gonna throw at us? Then he comes back. Haha! <laughs> You can't defeat me, Crunch Bar. The power of the dark side grants me. The power of the dark side grants me is beyond you. Steady yourself, Crunch Bar. You can't fail. You may more be more powerful than I suspected, Crunch Bar. But I won't underestimate you again. Attack! Kill Crunch Bar now. Is that it? You're just gonna send one, one dude at us at a time. What is it now? So you defeated those worthless mercs, Crunch Bar. Very well. I will destroy you myself. Your pathetic powers are no match for me. Beware, Crunch Bar. This dark giant's power is significant. Although I had hoped to avoid it, you have no choice but to use the power of the crystal to be able to defeat him. Haha, <laughs> Crunch Bar, you're no match for the power of the dark side. I'll crush you. Your ashen shadow on the ground is the last one. Oh god. Is the last mark you will leave on this world. And he is a level 110 boss. Your fate is to fall here today, Crunch Bar. Just accept it. Well, luckily, this uh, the power that the crystal is granting us is pretty pretty incredible. Let me take a second to uh, maybe auto attack him. Yeah, healing modified by 100%, modify health by 90,000 points, damage output increased by 350%, reduced damage taken by 85%. And chance to receive glancing blow modified by 100%. So, every single attack he's throwing at us is a glancing blow. And we're pretty godlike at this point. So, this is like, uh, no trouble at all. You know, just take down a level 110 boss. I've planned this for decades, Crunch Bar. Realize that you can't stop me. Okay, he ran out of health, now what? Brace yourself, Crunch Bar. I know you can do this. Useless mercs. Save me! Destroy Crunch Bar before it's too late! Okay, we killed that guy in like two hits. Oh, up for round two, Lord Vartonis? Come at me, bro. Those useless fools. I can cannot fail this close to my destiny. I will defeat you, Crunch Bar. Prepare to meet your maker. Yeah, whatever. Kill you. No problem. Well, maybe not kill you. It's probably not what that wants. Be careful, Crunch Bar. He's using the Force. Hit him hard to break his concentration. Do Ben. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Stay out of this, Ghost. Your young friend will die. You can't stop it. I beg to disagree, you ugly son of a bitch. You can't possibly win, Crunch Bar. You won't leave 
keep this chamber alive, Crunchbar. Actually, you won't. Thank you for the money, and thank you very much for the lava skip deed. I never doubted you, Crunchbar. It's time to end this, Crunchbar. You must destroy the crystal. If anyone were to try to use it, even with the best intentions, its taint to the dark side is so strong that it, would cor that it could corrupt anyone or anything it comes across. What shall we do? Shall we destroy the crystal? We'll keep the crystal for ourselves. You must destroy Crunchbar now. All right, Ben. I trust you. We'll destroy the crystal. You are everything I expected and more, Crunchbar. I understand. I understand the struggle that you had to overcome to destroy the crystal, my friend. I'm grateful that you made the right choice. It's not much, it's not much, but I believe there's something for you in your backpack. Just a small token of appreciation for your courage and honor. Now take, take well care of yourself, my young friend. And may the force be with you. Something in our backpack. Oh. The, uh, the Shard of Retaliation. Powerful measure of the force has been imbued within this object. When used, this object will dramatically increase your abilities for a short period of time. And if you kept the crystal, instead you have like this, uh, like that glowing crystal that we saw up there. Instead, we have this. We're gonna buy a link that. Let's see what that does for us. It's a reusable item, so we can use it as much as we want. Retaliation. Constitution modified by 200 points. Luck and Agility modified by 200 points. So that's a pretty handy item. You know, useful for taking on bosses and such. So yeah. Oh, unfortunately, uh, if you took the crystal, you would not get that insane buff. You would get a, a much, much weaker buff. And plus Ben would be pretty pissed at you. So we got the badge for uh, the Trials of Obi-Wan Savior. Yeah, yeah, we're not traveling to the planet. We're already on it. And here we are back out in the ruins. We got this lava skiff deed. That generates. A very useful vehicle for this planet. I don't believe it's as fast as the uh, as the spear bike. But look at this. We can now safely travel across lava without taking damage. And now we can travel pretty much wherever the hell we want to. No strings attached. If we want to go in the center of a volcano, sure, why not? But, anyways, we're gonna go over into this lava fall. Why not? We have a lava skiff. We can go wherever we damn well please. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up on this little this little ledge. There we go. Store that. So. That was the Fate of the Galaxy quest. And with that, you know, after saving the galaxy, I suppose, preventing a a Sith Lord, I suppose, or oh, I'm going to jump there, wrong button, preventing a Sith Lord from taking a extremely powerful artifact and from, you know, I suppose, taking over the galaxy if he were to get it. We stopped that. We saved the galaxy. I guess we'll end off the episode here. Got a lot, a lot done this session. I was not expecting to get all this done. But, you know, anyways. This has been Super Vader Man. This has been the Savior of the Galaxy, Crunchbar. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And may the Force be with you.